So a little bit ago, I stopped at my local family dollar to, uh, you know, grab a couple of drinks. Maybe a, a, a couple Pokemon cards if they had them. And lo and behold, after weeks upon weeks of them having absolutely nothing. Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. One dollar packs in a two pack. And on top of that, they also had Unbroken Bonds, which will be coming in a later video. Well, several later videos. I bought quite a few. They also had Sun and Moon Base Set, which is eh, not nearly as exciting in a $1 pack. Your odds are quite low. Um, and then they also had Unified Minds. So, uh, I, you know, I grabbed quite a few of them. Uh, and we're going to get into them today. There's a couple of good cards in here, a couple of crazy things that I want. I'll throw them up on screen right now. Take a look at those bad boys. Anyway, so they come in this, this two card pack, which I have to open. So it's really like a double opening. They actually are like, if you can see, they're very opaque. It's like it's its own plastic version of the foil packs, uh, which is kind of cool. The unbroken bonds, however, come in like, bags, which are, like, incredibly difficult to open. These are, uh, a little easier, because you can kind of just do that, and then they pop right open. I'll probably cut out most of me just, like, opening these plastic things, because that, that's going to eat up a lot of time in this video, and these are $1 packs, so uh, it's probably going to be a little bit before we get anything cool, uh, just because there's so much packaging to touch, but, you know, that's, that's just how it be sometimes, you know? But Lost Thunder is a set that uh, I haven't had much of a chance to really get into. There's an advertisement card for... Uh, I don't even know what this is. What is this? It's an advertisement for their Championship League thing? Interesting. Anyway. So the way that these work, if you don't know, is that they have on the front... And on the back are common or uncommon cards. And then in the middle, you have a chance at a rare. That is a weird card art. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get anything in this pack. But this card was in the middle. And so it has a chance of being a rare or better. So, you know. Uh, I read somewhere. Someone did the math. And in a way, these technically have somewhat... They don't have better odds than normal packs, but they have more random odds. So, that's interesting. Also, three of these packs uh, is nine cards of Lost Thunder, and roughly the same odds as a normal pack. So, I'm essentially, every three of these that I open is akin to opening, well, give or take. There's one card difference, but, you know... It's akin to opening a Lost Thunder for $3, which is insane because, I mean, this is the price of a Lost Thunder pack right now. The cheapest I can find. That's insane. Um, I think my local card shop has these for like $13 or something. As much as I want to support my, like, local whatever, they really just, like, go crazy with whatever they want for the prices. And uh, I'm less and less inclined to actually buy them from them more inclined to just check Walmart and then buy online because they really oh they really really jack up the prices we got a spinner rack with spider scram a poplio and a fairy charm fighting and an ad card normally I say support your, your you know support your local peeps but I mean if they're jacking up prices eh. if it's a little bit I'll bite you know, like, if it's like, oh, you know, I can get battle styles for like, you know, four dollars, maybe four fifty online, and they've got it for like five bucks. I'll still get it from them because, like, you know, I feel a little bit better about buying locally. But uh, you know, when they have battle styles for like seven ninety nine, it's like, all right, man, that's a little much, don't you think? Anyway. Picky Pack, Slugma, and a... <laughs> Did 
There's a hound hour. Why do I feel like... Is this hound hour art a dark type card too? And they're just like reusing it, but it's like nighttime or something? Because like, that's kind of lame. There's a Poiple and a Kecleon. Well, these have the little flap too. The easiest way to open these is actually just to go for the back flap. I don't know. Ooh, that's a really cool not to. Okay. I can get down with that. We got a not to. Ooh, there's a Houndoom art I don't have. That's going in the binder. And a netball. See, even if I'm not getting anything rare, you know, I, I don't have any Lost Thunder cards in my binder, really. So this, oh, let's see if I can salvage it. I don't have that many Lost uh, Thunder cards of, like, Pokemon alike, so this will be a good way for me to, uh, you know, bolster that collection. And who knows, I might get a, ooh, I might get a little hollow here and there. There's a Picky Peck, a Picky Peck, and a Fairy Charm. Okay. I mean, it's a hollow. I'm not gonna lie, this one feels chunky. I mean, it might be just in my head, but... What if it isn't? Saw a video recently, uh, a YouTube short of somebody showing off uh, themselves. Ugh. It's got a massive head. Anyway. A video of somebody showing off them going to a Dollar General and weighing these dollar packs and being like, yeah, this is my process. It's pretty cool. And it's like, dude, you were actually cheating the system and like bragging about it. Disgusting. He like brings a scale into the Dollar General, grabs all the packs from the thing and then walks to like the back of the store, and then weighs all of them. Like, there's no way that's, like, allowed, right? Like, I, I can't, I don't think he's, like, doing anything illegal, but that's very clearly not cool. Don't do that. That's just, that's, that's not fair for everyone else. Anyway, uh, here's an adorable Eevee that I'm absolutely putting in my binder. That's not going in the binder. That's horrifying. M follow the, get out of here. What is with these fairy charms? Why do I keep getting so many? But yeah, shoutouts to that dude for like, I don't know, being a weirdo. There's also a, a pretty decent chance that he's doing it so that way he can sell them as heavy packs on eBay. Which I'm sure most of that is, is like, there's no way that that stuff is like, legit. Anyway, here's a Snubble trying to be cute, but he ain't. Here's another one of those Slugmas. Ooh, that's a cool card. I like that. I don't normally put trainer cards in my binder, but that might actually go in the binder. That's awesome. Lost Thunder's showing up a little bit. I mean, it's not bringing much of the goods. I mean, all we've got is a Reverse Hall of Picky Peck. But, I mean, hey... If it wants to keep giving me, like, interesting commons and uncommons, I'm cool with that. We got a Mareep. Ooh. A Foratress. And a Counter Gain. There's the Lugia pack. Not that that means anything. It just has Lugia on it. Look how, like, strange that art is. He's just kind of like, ta-da! I'm a Flatfish. Isn't that exciting? Ooh, there's a Chikorita I don't have. And more milk. When milk. Here's Picky Pack. Oh, well, oh, mm. Here, Here's that corresponding Picky Pack. Ooh, okay. Wow. That's really cool. There's our, our rubber chicken boy, Moltres himself. And a lightning energy. You know what? I'm gonna count that. I'm gonna. I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna put that there because that's cool. He's he's not getting a sleeve or nothing, but he's going in the binder for sure. Right next to my Charmanders. Like like page of Charmanders. <laughs> I 
Ooh. There's the really strange but cool Onyx art where he's uh, he's burrowing, but then there's also like a bunch of diglets that are like chilling. Ooh, a reverse hollow Naga Nadel. That's a that's a lot of syllables. That's cool, and a custom catcher. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's a poiple now. I got the whole evolution line in two packs. I mean, it's only two, but, you know, whatever. Poiple. Ooh, unknown. Ooh, and a grass energy. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, and there are 66 or more damage counters on your bench Pokemon, you may use this ability. If you do, you win this game. They spell damage. That's weird. I kind of love it. <laughs> instant, weird instant win conditions in card games are like kind of amazing. All right, we're getting we're getting low on packs, and so far, nothing too spectacular. What? This has got two barcodes. That's weird. First barcode wasn't good enough for you. What is it, Jigglypuff? I like opening them like that because it's like the, the, the first card really jumps out at you. you. Got a really nice looking Jigglypuff. A really sassy looking Meowth. With an attack called Spoil the Fun. Okay. And another Carbink. <laughs> just have a massive pile of those advertisement cards. And just the shear them on a plastic that's going to go right right into a dolphin's blowhole and just choke it to death. Thanks, Nintendo. Anyway, <laughs> and here I am buying the product. Um, Dedene. Oh, that's going to go in the binder. Cyndaquil and a Steel Energy. Getting a lot of good-looking cards, but not a lot of valuable cards. I'm thinking if I don't get anything, I'm going to just go grab more of these and just keep going until I get, like, something. Because when I got there, somebody had bought, like, a couple of them from, like, uh, Unbroken Bonds. But, like, the Lost Thunder and the Unified Minds were untouched. And there was only one thing of Unified Minds, and it had a lot less in them. It was just like a smaller box, but there's a very uh, interesting chance to see with a, I'm guessing a Clefairy doll and then a substitute, so that's interesting. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that is strange. That is really strange. It's a very goopy, gummy looking prism ditto. Wow, that is amazing. I really like that. And on the back... Oh, there's a plastic pupitar. This pack was good. This fella's going in the binder. And this fella, I'm thinking I'm going to price check him real quick just to see what he's worth. And then uh, he might be getting top loaded. All right, the ditto's in his sleeve. He's worth a couple of bucks. We got three more mini packs left. I, I think I'm going to count that as a hit. Uh... Wow, that, that's a really cool card from a $1 pack. I can't... There we go. There's a, a plastic Pachirisu. That's cool. Ooh, a reverse hollow Poplio blowing a nose bubble. And a Grovile. That's cool. I just noticed that this one had two Lugia packs in it, which is definitely an omen of some kind. Reverse Holo Litleo and a Ninjask. I don't think I've gotten any of of the, the, the Ninjask line in card form, like, at all. So that's interesting.
Oh, we started with a picky pack. We end with a picky pack. Let's see if that brings any luck with it. The card on the back is a really cool lampant. And the rare card for this pack is a reverse hollow spell tag. All right, well, we got a couple of cool cards. Uh, definitely a lot of art that I've never seen before that's going to be, you know, shuffled into my binder. Going to go in the collection of stuff that I like. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought, think of this video. Do you want to see more $1 packs? Should I maybe do more of these, less? Uh, is this video too long, too short? Give me some feedback in the bottom, down there in the comments. And definitely, definitely leave a like for Prism Star Ditto. That is such a cool card. Thanks for watching.